One of the early Chevrolet engineers, Mr. Ollie, he has a quote dating back from the 1930s. The engineers had made all the parts function excellently, but when put together, the whole was seldom satisfactory. So from here onwards, there was a continual struggle to improve the vehicle as a whole. And to me, that sums up the essence of what systems engineering is trying to do. Specialists are very good at thinking about what's best in their domain, but they're really bad at estimating the 80% solution that is also everyone else's 80% solution. And quantitative methods allow us to discover those trade-offs in a very straightforward manner. I see quantitative methods and models as being closely coupled. There's strategies and patterns for performing analysis, design, and decision making. They give us an opportunity to compare different alternatives on a common basis with evidence justifying why particular decisions are made. In this course, we've chosen to focus on early decision methods those quantitative methods that will then cascade into other types of decisions. Do we need two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive? Whether you use an electrical propulsion system or a liquid propellant system. A key piece of what we're trying to introduce in this course is the synergy that exists when you use these quantitative methods in a consistent framework throughout early life cycle decision making. It provides a framework for thinking through how to structure a trade study, how to structure the generation of alternatives, as well as how to justify our decisions at the end of the day.